when I think of being created for such a time as this, uh, it makes me feel very honored, um, privileged, but I do think about this time being um, sort of like boot camp, like getting ready for, you know, the second coming of Christ, because that's really what we're all uh, preparing for. <laughs> it is very important, beyond crucial, for women to be ministered to because we are the hubs. We are the ones that keep everybody together. You know, I speak for myself. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and naturally we give and we provide to everybody. And it's sort of like a cup, you know, it's a drip here, a drip there, a drip here. And next thing you know, if our cup is empty, what more do we have to give? I have to be filled so that I can give. Being ministered to means that I'm being more uh, filled up so that I have more to give to somebody else. Well, to be honest with, uh, there is no Women's Day that I could think was more memorable than the other. But the one thing just about Women's Day period that really touches my heart is just seeing all of the women up front and center. Uh, having the leaders come out, seeing the preachers come out, seeing the, the women that are singing and just having just our face uh, up in the front, that really means a lot to me. It's empowering for me as a woman, but not just, um, just for myself, but for my daughters as well. So when I think about who is most influenced by my relationship with God, um, I would say my husband, but he's an adult. He can foster his own relationship. You know, obviously I'll be there to support him. But I think about my children. They're the ones that are innocent. They're the ones that are relying on me to guide them and to protect them and to give them uh, the right way to go. If I'm not right, my kids are not right. And so I think that the influence on them is stronger than anybody else. So uh, going into 2020, I was really excited because honestly, going uh, back to 2019, it was very hard for me, especially the end of 2019. And so going into 2020, I was super excited for uh, just to have a, a fresh breath, you know, but uh, <laughs> we were met with a whole lot more, not just in my personal life with medical problems and all these other things that were going on, but COVID-19 not only ramshacked our community and our world, but it hit close to home for me. Uh, both of my parents ended up contracting COVID-19 um, and there are people that are called long haulers. And those are people that end up having uh, COVID-19 for a long period of time. Unfortunately, both of my parents uh, fell into that category. And my mother being one who was positive for COVID-19 for over 110 days. And I just wanna say on the top of every mountain possible that I am thankful to God that even though my parents had COVID-19 for over 100 days, that they are here, they are alive, they are well, they are still healing as uh, you know, it caused a lot of complications in their body, but just the fact that God kept them, you know, just says to me that there's more that has to get done. It really reflected something on me that I have to be more mindful of my interactions with them, you know, and what what more of a work that's out there for us as a family to do? More ministering, more service, and they are the ex uh, are the example for me and my family. And so. Above all the other things, I mean, having a baby, all these other beautiful things, one thing that I'm most thankful for is that God kept my family alive and kept my parents alive. I was created for such a time as this.